All right, uh, let's have the Dini. She's in Park City talking about some skiing, some snow. And you know what? It's not always fun in games, though, is it, Dini? Well, you know, yeah, even on a great powder day like this, you can get injured. And injuries usually happen because you're either not in shape or you're not prepared. So we went to Intermountain Healthcare's Tosh, the orthopedic specialty hospital, for some tips. In our Your Life, Your Health segment, Lori Pritchard helps us get in ski shape. For this stretch, you're going to bring... Before strapping on the skis, the day begins with proper stretching. Any fitness program starts with loosening up those big muscles. Just ask physical therapist Beth Gilmore. And you can do that as a daily routine. I'd stretch your, your quads and your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Those will all be used a lot while you're skiing. Beware if you're hitting the slopes without a basic fitness level. With skiing, it's really important... At least three months of conditioning will strengthen the court to prevent injuries. Biking, a, a regular gym routine is good. These exercises build endurance as well as those quads sort of and glutes. If you can keep your quad muscles strong and your glutes strong, they have a big impact on preventing knee injuries. Go. And knee injuries are pretty common in skiing. This takes a lot if of If you're a mogul skier, here's a workout as fast as you can and another. Your trunk and if you shift try an inexpensive bit, elastic band. Most of these routines emphasize the skier's squat this, position. This but even more important for your well-being stay hydrated and as most skiers now do wear a helmet and avoid the one last run syndrome fatigue leads to injuries then you can kind of inch your feet over so, so that you can follow along we've posted several now. demonstrations yeah, of these exercises on ksl.com Lori Pritchard KSL 5 news five second hold